2 2 coming. Got him. Fastball away, and he fans Alfaro. Back to back strikeouts for Harvey to finish off the Phillies in the second. Matt looking good through his first two innings. No score at City Field. Todd Frazier coming up. And he lines one to left center field. That's going to be in there for a base hit, and the Mets will score the first run of the game. Cespedes is in. Frazier pulls in at second with an RBI double, and the Mets have a one nothing lead in the bottom of the sixth. For Frazier, his second two base hit of the year, and the Mets have struck first. Ooh, went out and got one there, Howie. That ball was actually a couple inches off the plate. Just went out and hooked it on in the left. Is off in a row. O2. Line toward the middle, base hit. That'll bring in Frazier with the second run of the inning. An 0-2 breaking ball, and Travis hit it just hard enough to get it past Hernandez into center field, and it's 2-0 New York. Well, that's a big two-out hit right there. And another pretty good pitch here. But with two strikes, Travis just keeps that hands back. Let's go with one hand. A little more of a leg kick we're seeing here this year there. And what this inning should have been over with no runs there is at the end of the bat. Grounded to third. Frazier's got it. And the ball game is over. Familia stumbles but does not fall. The Mets have a shutout victory, their first of the season, behind five strong innings from Matt Harvey. And the Mets have won three of four to start the season as they shut out the Phillies tonight. <laughs> Jay cracks one out to right center field. Back in the gap goes Taylor at the wall. It's out of here. Jay Bruce with a grand slam for his first home run of the season. And the Mets now lead it 8 to 2. He had to make it happen on 2 2. Once you get the 3 2, you got to give in a little bit to Jay, and that ball was leaked back over the middle of the plate. I Felt he should have doubled up, come back inside, and he was just one going out to his comfort zone away and got it up. 
and down Broadway. Sixth career grand slam for Bruce and he got all of that. Play the right hander. He drives this one a deep left center field headed back toward the wall. It's out of here. You want his suspicious with his third home run of the year. He ties up the game again. Well he says his timing is off. <laughs> Didn't look off on that swing. Which he grooves it then. A rocket off the bat of Cespedes. Three home runs in his first 20 at bats of the year, and it's two to two. This home run is most impressive to me. And he's pulled his first two home runs on hanging breaking balls. This is a down fastball that Strasburg misses, gets too much of the plate. Inner half. And that is a rocket. The pitch is working in the fourth. And Conforto flies one out to left. Pretty well hit, but Eaton going back over his head. And it's off the fence, bouncing away from Eaton. In the score comes Ploiecki, stopping at second with an RBI double is Michael Conforto. His first hit of the season brings in the go-ahead run. And it's 3-2 to two New York. What? It's interesting. Mickey Callaway is asking. He thought that ball was out of the ballpark. I thought it was out of the ballpark. Let's see if it hits the flower bed and comes back home. Oh, not sure. Yeah, it could have hit very on the top of that fence. Well, they're going to review it. It did hit the top of the fence. The question is whether it went beyond the fence. It certainly didn't appear from that angle. You know, the the fence is built in such a way that you think if it hit on top of the fence, it would have to skip into the stands or in that flower bed, not come back. Can I just say that that was nice two strike hitting by Conforto there going the other way and that's displaying his power to the opposite. I think that's a home run guys. Let's see. What did it hit. Oh I think it back. Oh did it hit the back. Yeah, I think it hit the flowers. And yeah. Back. It, if it went in the flowers then it's, it's a home run. It went, in the, home run. it went in the flowers. It hit the cement. Um, you know like skipped it off the cement in the back of the flower bed. I and think, came back out. I think it's a home run. Well, the umpires. This is not a challenge. This is a home run review initiated by the umpires because they weren't sure. Joe West was the third base umpire, and Mark Ripperger, the second base umpire, who might have had a better angle. And here's where it goes. And it oh, does. Wow, that's a tough call. To me, I think it hit. It hits in the flower bed, skips up against the cement, and yep. pop hops out. Like you'd short hop a ball up against the front porch. Are, are you are you certain? I, I, I'm I'm it certain. It looks like it goes over the fence right there. It looks like it embedded over the fence in the flowers. I don't know. If, I, th I don't I know how it came out like that. I know you think it hit the cement. I I, I don't see it going that far back. Yeah. Well, That's not the angle we had. But anyway. Did we lose any petals there? If it goes in the flowers, it's a home run. Let's yeah, see. Well, the umpires have a decision. I now. think it's a home run. And it is yep. a home run. So Michael Conforto gets credit for a two-run homer, and the Mets have a two-run lead. So Conforto who hit 27 home runs last year his first hit of this season is an opposite field two run homer to give the Mets their first lead of the day at four to two. Oh he's a talented kid. Rounded down to first easy play for Gonzalez and the ball game is over. The Mets spoiled the Nationals home opener by winning their third in a row. Mickey Calloway has won five of six matching Joe Torrey and Davey Johnson who did the same in their managerial tenure with the Mets as the Mets continue their fast start using the long ball today Michael Conforto Joanna Cespedes and Jay Bruce all going deep in an eight to two Mets victory. Well the big blow and it's good to see Conforto back for folks a two run home run by Conforto that broke a two two tie at Darno. And he lines one to center field from base hit. Frazier around third. He'll come in with a tying run. Travis Darno with an RBI single, and the Mets get the run right back. It's one to one. This is something the Mets did a couple of times on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Fell behind and immediately got the run back, and they do it again. Fastball again, Ron. Belt high up out over the plate. Third time through the lineup here against Geo pays dividends for the Mets. 
Cabrera pulls one down the line. That's going to go all the way to the corner. Rosario digging for third. Harper just getting to it. Rosario waved home. The relay by Kendrick. Not in time. And the Mets have tied the game again. Rosario speeding from first to home on the double by Cabrera. And it's 2-2. Two to two. This team keeps on doing this. <laughs> the other team puts up a marker and the Mets respond in kind. Down and in. Fastball ripped into the corner. And you're just not going to throw Rosario out. He is a speedster. Everything done properly by the Nationals. There goes Conforto. It's hit toward the middle of the diamond. Kendrick bobbles it. His only play is to first in time, but the Mets take the lead. With Conforto in motion, no chance to turn a double play. Kendrick bobbled it anyway, and the Mets go in front three to two on the RBI ground out by Frazier. Now I'm wondering if there's a hit and run here. Oh, two strikes, maybe not. Uh, no, definitely yeah. not. That's surprising that Conforto would be a straight steal here. We, we talked about this the other day. Every button that Mickey Callaway's pushed so far has been spot on. I'm not so sure that uh, that I think Conforto has a green light here. He might have been doing that on his own, but in any event, it worked just perfectly. Asians, Roark really made him chase back. A pitch over the inside corner that Gonzalez hammers to right. Back is Harper, and it's gone! Adrian Gonzalez first as a Met is his sixth career Grand Slam. And like we talked about, being assertive early in the strike zone, do not let Rourke get any free strikes. The, the veteran, Gonzalez, ready for the fastball, right down the middle for a grand slam. And a residual of three great back-to-back at-bats from Bruce, Frazier, and Cabrera. That is not a home run for Gonzalez. That is a team grand slam right there. Cespedes with sends a jam shot into center field. It's going to bring around the go-ahead score. A night's worth of frustration, and Yuena Cespedes comes through here in the 12th. And Buster, great call. Good matchup for Cespedes. Inside fastball, a ball. We call that a negative two. And again, the reason what I do not care what analytics says. The bunt is still one of the best plays in baseball. Playoff baseball. Nice job. <laughs> it's the pepper shaker, right? <laughs> Everybody's got to have their thing these days. The monster claw, the pepper shaker. Everybody's got to have their RBI knock move. <laughs> On the ground for Frazier. And a low throw picked out by Gonzalez means that'll do it tonight. The Mets bounce back. They grab one in extra innings, finishing off a sweep. New York has won their fifth in a row to begin this season. Terrific night for Gonzalez. Home run, grand slam, terrific defense, and ends the night with a nice pickup. Six innings in his first start, four in his second. He's always pitched well against the Marlins. And Castro chases the slider for strike three. 2-2 two -two coming to Maven. And he foul tips it for strike three. Another dastardly slider from Syndergaard. Reina goes down on the slider. And the curveball swung and foul tip held by Pluecki for strike three. Again the 3-2. Struck him out. And Gonzalez cracked that one down the right field line. That's going to land for a base hit, and that'll bring in the game's first run. Frazier scores. Cabrera goes to third. Adrian Gonzalez with an RBI single, and the Mets jump in front 1 0. Four RBIs last night, one tonight. Well, the 3 1 pitch was more down the middle, running away. 
This ball was supposed to be away, but it darted back in. So looking for a fastball, trying to be quick. He got jammed a little, if you heard it on our broadcast here, and that kept it fair. On the inside corner, strike three called, and the ball game is over. Familia works around a couple of ninth inning hits with three strikeouts as he gets Castro looking at the slider to end it. And the Mets have won their sixth in a row and matched their best start in their history by winning eight of their first nine to begin the 2018 season. Kyle Bearclaw comes on and Wilmer Flores will face him. We're in the eighth inning, six to four Miami. And Wilmer flies one to deep left field. Back goes Dietrich, back to the track near the wall. It's out of here. Wilmer Flores cuts the Marlins lead in half. Well, the Mets still trail now by a run, six to five, but there they are again. Give up runs in one inning and come right back with something of their own the very next. 3-0 to Cabrera. And he swings and drives one deep right field. Back goes Lee at the wall. It's out of here! As Dribble Cabrera ties the game with his second home run of the night. They are the Annie Oakley Mets. Anything you can do, I can do better. You hit one home run, we're going to come right back and hit two. Six to six, Mets and Marlins, one out, top of the ninth. And Cespedes pulls one down to third, past Anderson and down the line. And the Mets take the lead. Rosario is in, Conforto being waved home. The throw to the plate, not in time. Going all the way to third is Cespedes. Two-run score. The Mets are leading by a score of eight to six. 1-0 pitch to Anderson, swinging a ground ball to short, and a couple of steps, Rosario. He backhands, throws, put it in the books! And for the first time in their history, the Mets have won nine of their first ten. Well, Harleen Garcia making quite an impression tonight, but he leaves with a no-hit bid intact after six innings and 77 pitches. Drew Steckenrider will pick it up from there. Line left center field, and the Mets have their first hit of the night. After being held without a hit for six and two thirds, Todd Frazier breaks it up with a solid single. Kevin Pluecki, after being hit by a pitch on his left hand, is the runner at first, and Conforto is batting for Juan Lagares in a lefty righty switch. Oh, Grady sets of the shoulders, the 1 1. Swing and a drive down the right field line, hooking, it is a fair ball. Base hit going into the corner. Ploiecki's on his way to third. Maven just now up with a ball. Ploiecki slips around third, he puts on the brakes, goes back to third, and Conforto is clapping his hands at second with a pinch hit double. Interesting now, Mickey Calloway is going to go to Adrian Gonzalez against the left hand pitcher. That's toward the middle, base hit for Gonzalez. And is Ploiecki. Here comes Conforto. Conforto scores, and the Mets take the lead. Mickey Callaway pushes the right button. He sends up the left-hand hitter, and Gonzalez comes through. Drives in a pair, and it's 2-1 to one New York. Well, it's awful fun to watch when everything turns to gold. Don Mattingly now has had to use four different relievers. Wilmer is 0 for 3 tonight. Lined out to short his last time up. And he drives one out to left field chasing Dietrich back. Way back. It's over his head and bounces over the wall. A ground roll double. That'll bring in Gonzalez. Cabrera has to stop at third. Wilmer Flores with a ground roll double to drive and a run. The Mets have scored three runs in the eighth and they lead it 3 to 1. Mets have work to do here. 2 and 2 the count to Castro. Ramos delivers. Swing on a chopper to third, big hop, grabbed by Frazier. He throws to second for one. Cabrera to first, double play! Put it in the books! The New York Mets have won their eighth game in a row. They go to 10 and 1 to begin the season. We go to the last of the second inning here at City Field. It's the Mets one, the Brewers nothing. Frazier batting 222, still looking for that first Mets homer. Fly ball, center field. Kane going back, away back to the track at the wall. It's out of here. Todd Frazier with his first home run as a New York Met. Dead central. Frazier's inaugural home run as a Met coming in his 37th at bat. First home run as a New York Met. He goes dead central, and the Mets have a 2 to nothing lead. We start even in the bottom of the fourth inning. Todd Frazier, who homered his first time up, leads off against Zach Davies. And he cracks one to deep left field. That goes Braun looking up, and it's out of here! Todd Frazier with his second as a Met, his second of the night. Up comes the apple, and it took three pitches. 
for the Mets to regain the lead. The counterpunch Kings do it again. Todd Frazier makes it 3-2 New York. That's the old olive jar theory. Takes a little while sometimes to get that first olive out of the jar, but once you do, the olives just come spilling out, and it took forever for the first home run for Todd Frazier in his mind, but here come the olives now. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Nine in a row for the New York Mets.